All right, well, I'm keeping it local today. Uh, I think I'm gonna hit a couple spots. I love all these colors together, but I can't say I'm a big fan of this plastic. I can't remember if I've looked at this one or not. I don't think I have. I always like the shape of these. Royal Coke, please. Uh, but $13.50 is right below retail. This is such a happy color rabbit. Mm, I wish it wasn't as damaged. Jewelry casket, does it have its lining? No. I used to sell these like crazy and then all of a sudden one day they just stopped selling. She's really pretty. I think she's an Avco. Yep. Uh, 26 is a really good price. But I'm wondering if she's repaired. Might be too good to be true. She looks good. I've been really picky about what head faces I've been picking up. Because some sell really quickly and then some take a really long time. But she's pretty unique. I'm going to go ahead and take her. I have the Inesco bunny right now. And I'm not too crazy about this string holder, especially not for 28. I know these glass birds are new, but for some reason I'm kind of into them. I think it's because they look like candy. Fool me once. 14, I think, is a steal. I would normally pick it up, but I've had two sitting for like a couple months. I've had this squirrel planter a couple times. Uh, it's pretty cute. This one seems to be missing. Quite a good bit of pain. Yeah, six dollars is the right price, but not for me today. This is kind of unusual. It's like scared Keepler elves locked in a circus. Huh, twelve fifty. I feel like that's a good price, but I have no use for this. I know this isn't usually my style, but I can't ignore this piece of Dresden. It's only twelve dollars. Oh, that's why. Huge chip. Just kidding. I really like the color of this. It's like a art glass conch shell in neon. Not sure if I said that right. Uh, so it's $23, but it's 50% off, which I feel like is a good deal. But I don't really know too much about this, to be honest, other than I'm attracted to it. So I'm just going to put it back. Well, I initially walked over here to check out this meditating cow situation, but then I noticed this horse planter. People really like these. I mean, I've never been a horse person, honestly. Uh, I mean, it takes a lot for me to get excited about one. It's only $5, but I think because of the nick in the ear, I'm gonna let it go, even though it's a really tiny nick. And this is really cute, $10. I feel like it's kind of crazy for me to leave this here. I've only seen it once and it was on this collector I follow's Instagram, but I'm gonna put it down. I'm kind of into this pirate bank here. He's only $7, but he's got a little bit of condition issues. Whoa, what is that? I've never seen this one before. Still so. Wow, that's so cool. Huh. There's a lot of information on this. The price is right, but it's got a pretty bad chip. Oh, neat. These are like the chicken version of the Sears uh, Neil the Frog. It's in good condition, but everything's priced individually and it's right below retail value. And of course I love these funny bear salt and pepper shakers. They're only $8, which is a good price, but I've sold two pairs pretty recently, so I'd like to switch it up. This turquoise color is absolute perfection. They're only $4. I don't even care that they have a little bit of wear. I mean, they're like 60, 70 years old. I'm gonna go ahead and take them. All right, how new is this? Brand new, just kidding. So I'm obsessed with this McCoy cookie jar and it's only $25, which is practically free, but it has a hairline inside and I'm nervous about the weight shipping. So even though I'm tempted, I'm gonna have to leave it. 
And then there's the Howdy Doody one. It's only 45 and they sell from like 150 to 220. If it was just crazy, I'd do it, but I don't like that little crack. Last time I was here, I cleaned up like two or three shelves full of salt and pepper shakers. This time, this is the only pair of seed that I really like. I'm gonna go ahead and take these. They're so sweet. Tr trying to stabilize. I'm like basically jogging. <laughs> I need this bear. Oh, just kidding. I don't need this bear. It is in really good condition, but I can't do 75. <laughs> All right, so there's a lot happening in here. Yes, there's a bloody doll, but this scared one, I'm almost tempted to get. It's so weird. I always really like these creamers, but for some reason, whenever I see them out, they're usually there the next time I'm there, which is, isn't a good sign, I feel like. All right, I just made it to my second stop. This table lighter is wild. I've never seen this exact one before. It doesn't work, but it doesn't really need to. It's a great price. It's only 15 but I think I'm gonna keep looking. These guys are great. They're only $5. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and take these. Though, I do kind of wish I'd gotten a basket. All right, I got my basket, I'm ready to roll. These shot glasses are really fun. Uh, they're only a dollar a piece. If I got them, I'd definitely sell them at a, as a set. Mm. I don't know why, I just can't pull the trigger. <laughs> what a strange souvenir. I've been to Puerto Rico, but I don't remember my trip looking like this. Maybe he was on the wrong side of the island. Or maybe I was. This is such a happy set. Uh, $16 is a really good price, especially for a collector. Me, personally, I have to do more than double my money when selling a tumbler set just because all the packing materials I'm going to use. I like these mice. For five bucks, I'm going to go ahead and get them. They have a lot of fun salt and pepper shakers here. I like to shake things up. I've had these cows a bunch recently, but I haven't had these cats in a while. And I especially like that one has green eyes. $10 isn't a bad price, but I usually sell mine for $17, so I'm going to leave them. I'm a little apprehensive about these phenomenal monkeys. Last time I bought a pair of these, don't worry, it wasn't here. They were taped, but they were also taped, like, because they were broken. <laughs> um, these are awesome. They look in great condition. I'm going to go ahead and get these. They're so fun. I did a little bit of a double take when I saw this. Uh... It is contemporary, but it's super fun. I love the iridescence. It's only $10. And then I went ahead and looked it up and it turns out Marilyn Catlow is actually a somewhat prominent artist. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this. They usually sell around $60. Wow, I love this. Uh, it's $15 and 20% off. It has a couple minor condition issues, but I've never seen it before. I mean, it's so fun. It would be great for any artist. Uh, I don't like the little bit of damage at the bottom. I'm going to keep walking around and see if I'm still thinking about it at the end. Chances are I will be. How fun is this strawberry clock? I've seen like Elvis and dogs and Jesus, but never a strawberry. Five dollars? I think I'm going to go ahead and gamble with it, take it home, pop a battery in it, and just hope it works. Oh, it's even got glittery numbers. Of course, I noticed these guys in here. $15. Uh, they look right, to me at least. Um, but I'm not too crazy about the colors or patterns. I need something brighter. I usually pick up this style of vase, uh, $10. These ones are new. Sometimes I don't mind, but not for $10 for resale. Cute little squirrel. But he is a bank. I thought it was going to be a trinket box. Whoa. Awesome. $6? Yeah, definitely. 
I've never seen this one before. He's got super desirable qualities. Plus, he's so cute. Ooh, I like this. I think it's Wales, Japan. Uh, it's $20. I had one not long ago. I mean, like, literally a month ago. And I think I sold mine for about that, too. Ooh, and then there's this green one. I think this is Japan, too. It's $8, which is a really great price. But I don't know why. It's just not calling my name today. This little pin cushion is so cute. There's a lot of fun figurines here. I like this planter though. 15. Huh, what about this big eye guy? Come on, come on. 10. I'm gonna keep looking. I've been selling a lot of Native American salt and pepper shakers recently. These ones look in pretty good condition. Uh, $8. Yeah, it's a really good price, but I think I'm gonna leave them today. I can't say I'm a big fan of the white milk glass, but $5.75 is a really good price. Awesome. These need further investigation. Four for three is a steal. It's been a long time since I've seen these, and usually when I find them, it's just one, not a set of four. They don't have their original holder, but I don't really care for that price. This runner is so sweet. I usually only see like cats or dogs, not lambs. It looks in pretty good condition too. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this. I've made it through this whole place, but this is really troubling me. I can't leave this here. It's so unique. It's only $12. It's got a couple imperfections, but I think somebody really needs this.